Everybody, Professor Doom here, and if you guys have been tuning into your TV sets and you've already heard about the newest alleged school shooting in Nashville, Tennessee. Now, I'm going to show you a website that is going to help you all to get closer to the Nashville news uh, reports so you don't have to rely on a lot of that national BS news. And I mean, all of it's really BS, isn't it? But I'm, I'm going to show you that. But uh, there's a couple of things here that I've noticed about this story so far that has been pretty interesting. One is they're making a big thing out of the number for the school. Is it a 33 covenant? Whatever that comes from. I don't, is it the name of the street? Is it the name of the school? This is some kind of Presbyterian Christian school of some sort where they're saying that three children and three staffers were shot. There you go. Three and three. 33. Just like 33 covenant. However, that all plays out. Now they're saying that there is at first, it was understood that it was a teen shooter, but that's they're saying now, allegedly, that's not the case. It's some 28-year-old female who had two assault weapons and a handgun. That's their words, not mine. And something else that caught my attention is there was a witness across the street at her home, and I'm going to let you listen to what she says, but what she does say is pretty interesting where she says there were... Eight to ten shots, very loud. And right at, afterward, there were shots not as loud as if it was coming from a different gun. So considering that there was only eight to ten shots, and this female shooter must have been really good because what you took out, you took out six victims with only eight to ten shots, and you got an assault weapon, how did you, how did, I don't know. You're going to have to listen to it for yourself. There's more to come, but let's take a look at the local news website for you because there's probably about four different news uh, locations I have for you so you can check out and how they work, all right? Okay, so here is your site. It's called streama.com. TV or forward slash TV. Okay. So now if you click on your search right here in Nashville, and here you go. The first feed does not work, but now you have one right here. We're just going to go to one. If you look, you have two ABC, four HD. And then you got Fox. These other ones, they're not even playing news. But anyway, if we go to the first one right here and you look, and they're all covering it right there in Nashville. So you look at all the different feeds that they got, and all you have to do is watch live stream right there. And I'll wait for this to come up and come back. Some theory to that. We're investigating all the leads. And once we know exactly, we'll let you know. So was this a targeted attack? It was. Do we know about a history of an gender man or woman? Don't know any history of mental illness uh, at this time. But we are looking at that as the investigation is ongoing. And I'm sorry. Did you identify the transgender man or woman? Uh, it's a woman. Was this the only school that was targeted? It was the only school that was targeted. Uh, there was another location that was mentioned, uh, but because of a, a threat assessment by the suspect, uh, too much security, they decided not to. And that area was here in Nashville, so we're continuing with that investigation as well. Right now, we believe uh, it's a lone uh, assailant, and uh, we don't anticipate any further damage at this time, but we're still investigating. This right one address, she lived there with her parents? Or? Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you. So the scene is going to be processed throughout the night, probably into tomorrow. Uh, this is an extensive scene. As you know, she entered the building, uh, which is one structure. The church and the school are in one building. She entered on the lower floor. Uh, there were shots fired on the lower floor before she went to the upper level. And it was on the upper level where she was confronted by police and killed. Uh, so understand the 
vaccine processing will take place over at least two days, today and tomorrow. Now, just to be clear, they did release the names of the alleged victims just a little bit ago, and they say that the three staffers were in their 60s and the students were roughly around nine and eight, nine years old. And we'll continue this here. And we'll have more details for you, including the release of video, uh, perhaps tonight, but if not tonight, certainly tomorrow. Thank you. Metro Police Spokesman Don Aaron and Metro Police Chief John Drake giving us the latest update, which included the identity of the shooter, 28-year-old Audrey Elizabeth Hale. She has been identified. She has also been, we have also been told she identifies as transgender. Off uh, Chief Drake was asked if her sexuality had anything to do with the attack on this school. He said that theory is being investigated. He was also asked, was this a targeted attack? And he said, yes. And they are reviewing some writings, he said, did not go into into detail, but that would play into their theory of the motive, and they are reviewing those extensively, as well as the maps that were there with the suspect, and they're put piecing all of those together. They also told us that she entered the building by shooting open a door, and when they confronted her and took her down, they found multiple uh, weapons, two AR-15s, a hand... Now, there, do you, do you see what's going on here with this identifying as her, 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 a female? I'm sorry, but um, I can't agree with this, this whole identifying someone who was born as a male as a female. Sorry, I just can't do that. Transgender? Sure, let's do that. But now we're getting the reports that the shooter was a transgender female who was born a male i'll go that far but there you go i'm going to leave you guys that but now i'm going to let you listen to what the one witness said about the gunshots right here speaking to some neighbors in the area, 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 area spoke to a woman about what she had witnessed what she had heard what she had heard what she had heard it was very, very the first the about first eight, about or, eight or ten shots were very loud. Very, very, I, I, don't what, I don't know what. Yeah, very, yeah, loud. very loud. And then there was, and then some, there after was some after that. that like almost, like it was almost a different, it was gun, a different gun, gun that were just, just loud. More pictures from the. From the- All right, everybody, I've been listening to Broadcastify, and I have been keeping my eyes on all of these news stations out of Nashville. There is a link in the description box that I'm going to leave for you for Streama.com so that you guys can all check out the latest alleged story out of Nashville. Like I said, a lot of stuff in question right now. The number 33... And everything else that is playing out in this, not saying anything yet, 